Hey Filmmaker Shongli here. In this video, I want to talk about how to improve the position tools or the position effect inside of Premiere Pro. So if you have used Premiere Pro for a while now, you might have also noticed that it doesn't make any sense. So the position effect or the positioning inside of Premiere Pro has a value uh, that is actually the actual middle, but from the top left side. So explaining that is that here, the values here is the exact middle from the video. However, if you are going to actually work with it, you often need to calculate in like, you need to add like 400 minus 400, but with these numbers as the absolute middle. So the absolute zero here, if we press 0, 0 0.0, we can see that the absolute zero is on the top left. Maybe for the programmer, it makes sense to do it on the top left, but for the user experience, it makes no sense to do that. So you can actually do something about it. You can actually change the anchor point also to 0, 0.0. And even though the anchor point actually shifted to the top left, you will get like the experience of how it would be if the absolute zero would be in the center. So if the absolute zero would be in the center, instead of having to calculate in like 1920 minus 400 is 1520, those kind of calculations will get really annoying if you have like even more digits, like instead on like hundreds, if it's like a 423, you probably would grab a calculator to calculate it. So right now, if I want to actually move it to the left side, I can easily just type in a minus number. So if I want it to be going to the left side by 400 pixels, I just literally do minus 400. This is why this should change inside of Premiere Pro. So this will make everything way, way easier. So right now, yeah, it just doesn't make a lot of sense uh, with the positioning. I just wish they would change it around, even though you can experience the yeah absolute zero in the middle kind of feel with this. The only downside with this is that the anchor point is actually moved to the top left. And if you are going to change the rotation, it's not going to rotate from the center anymore and also scaling it up and down. It's also scaling up from the anchor point instead of from the middle. So that is the downside of changing the anchor point yourself. But if Adobe can actually change the anchor point to be in the middle and have the absolute zero in the middle of the screen, it's going to make everything much, much easier. I'm not quite sure why they are not changing it because it's such a total different experience when you are going to work with it, especially makes everything much easier, especially like uh, if I'm going to use like a totally different effect, the garbage mat with the garbage mat, we cannot change the anchor. So the absolute zero is still on the top left. So here it's also say top left. So what's going to make really difficult about it is that if I want to make a absolute square here, I need to calculate a lot of things. So I need to calculate literally where the center is and then like calculate from the center minus four. So I need to know this, the center is 1920. And also do the same number. Let's do a minus 400, make a 800 by 800 square. So that is 1520. And from the top down uh, is 1080 is the middle, minus 500 or minus 400 is 680. For this one is also 680. From the other side around uh, 1920 plus 400 is 2320. This is also 2320 and from the bottom uh, 1080 
plus 400 is 1480 and 1480 and this one we can copy the other number so now we have the square so even though I actually used a very easy number to do uh, 400 is quite easy to calculate but if it was like 1423 I need a calculator to actually know like what the number exactly is however if the absolute zero was in the middle each of these values would literally be just minus 400 plus 400 and it would be so easy to do another effect where the positioning is really odd is inside of mirror if we drag this here so when you drag mirror on the video it actually directly does nothing you would affect it to flip something but if we are going to look at the positioning where the anchor or the reflection center is it's on the very far right here is the anchor point so it's very odd i'm not quite sure why they do it but I wish they changed it around that this be totally in the center of the video instead because it just doesn't make any sense. So now we can actually also play with this angle. Actually if we do 90 it gets like a only building without the horizon look which is pretty cool and actually minus 90 we get like the inception look or Doctor Strange kind of thing going on. So that was it talking about changing the positioning inside of Premiere Pro. Hopefully somebody at Adobe would see this video and change things around. However, I don't really care if the old presets get messed around because presets can be remade, but this will actually make the user experience making those presets much, much easier. So I don't even have to use a calculator and easily change the positioning way, way faster. So I hope you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or join us on our Facebook group. There's a link in the description and I'll hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.